When I first met Larry, uh, my first impression was he's very learned, very passionate, very committed to education, very committed to our country. Larry, is, he has obviously this intellectual side. He doesn't hit you over the head with his intellect, but boy, when you engage him, it's fascinating. It, it can be a seminar, but he, he does it with such passion and he does it with such, uh, not just knowledge, but uh, almost emotional involvement with the subject that it makes it really palatable, really interesting, and he's a fascinating guy to be with. Dr. Arn's students, they love him and they fear him. One of his favorite activities is to go into the dining hall, sit down at a table of students he hasn't met yet, and then just start grilling them. You'd think it's intellectual boot camp. He considers them colleagues because unless people are partners in this intellectual venture that he's in charge of, they won't actually benefit from it. Larry's voice is so powerful because he brings the Constitution and the Declaration and their principles to everyday working Americans. He's always working hard to educate the next generation of patriots at Hillsdale, and that's because he so firmly believes in America and believes in the cause that he's defending. You know, if he's talking about the founding, if he's talking about the Constitution or the Declaration of Independence, it's not an intellectual exercise for him. I mean, it is very personal and very emotional, and it can't help but involve you in, in what you're talking about, and it's great to see that. I know his students respond to it. Uh, I know I do. Larry is definitely the smartest guy in the room whenever I'm in the room with him. But he's also, again, the son of hardworking parents in Northeast Arkansas who's never forgotten his roots. Larry Arn is an avid sportsman, loves to shoot clays, go pheasant hunting. And one of my very fond recollections is his invitation to me and my uh, two sons uh, to come and join him in a pheasant hunt. You know, it is, it is actually a little nerve wracking when you've got the chairman of the board and the president of the college and two inexperienced boys holding shotguns. You go, oh, this could go wrong in so many ways. The Bradley Prize has always highlighted the work of Americans who are dedicated to the principles on which this country was founded. Individual rights, limited and constitutional government, and Larry's life has been dedicated to that work. And Larry brings those principles to life in so many different ways that Americans can understand and that they can relate to. His position is one of, let's say, call it a voice of political conscience. Remember what you are about in this great republic. Do not let yourself get lost in the uh, chaos of, of uh, contemporary political noise. Return to principles, founding principles. Always keep those, that, that's the kind of position he has. Larry Arn's reach it will go on for generations because he has helped train young minds who are really making a difference in this country.